I am really lucky that I decided now of all times was the best time to start doing more discussion videos. Very lucky indeed. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. In this video we're going to be talking about a new card spoiled for release as a TCG exclusive for us in Raging Tempest. Now this is the newest piece of spiral support that is coming out to us, like I've already said, in Raging Tempest. Now, we have two TCG exclusive archetypes that we're currently in support for, spirals being one and subterrors being the other. And so far none of the support has really been too, like, amazing. The cards have been good quality, but overall there's something missing from each one of those archetypes. It's definitely a big like shift from how we had Burning Abyss, Cosmos, and the other like prominent TCG exclusive archetypes handled and given to us in the past. But the card in question today is Spygal Misty. And so honestly, this card looks fantastic. This card artwork looks phenomenal. This girl looks so fresh. I'm so... Ooh. I, I love this artwork. It just looks so classy. But anyway, Spygal Misty is a level 4 dark spellcaster type effect monster with 1500 attack, 1600 defense. And its effect is, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can declare one card type, monster, spell, or trap, reveal the top card of your opponent's deck, and if you do, draw one card if it is a card of that type, if you called it correctly. Once per turn during either player's turn, you can target one spiral super agent you control and one monster your opponent controls. Return both monsters to the hand. Okay. Alright, here we fucking go. Why is Konami printing more cards like Magic Spectre Unicorn Kirin? Now, inherently, this is a two card combo, and thusly, it makes it inherently weaker, but. They should have learned by now that creating cards like that, that are recurrable monsters, formulate some form of stagnation in the format. Now, all, be so, all things so, said and told, like, this is a card that has to exist on the board alongside Spiral Super Agent. And I will be damned if I do not know how you are supposed to maintain that sort of board presence, considering the fact that this card isn't even a Spiral. This card is Spy Gal. God damn it, it's not a spiral card. It just directly supports Super Agent. I'm so upset with this nonsense. It's almost like Konami is scared to make archetypes that just work together non like no contest. I cannot understand. I am dumbfounded as to why this card isn't like treated as a spiral because it would open it up to so many good support options. Now, that being said, it does kind of make Spiral Super Agent a bit too good, but it still requires a two card combo just for you to summon Super Agent and like get its effect off properly. And then, uh, I'm just so confused. I do love the card though. Let's not get this twisted. Like, I love the card strictly for what it does and for its artwork, but like, mmm. Why did you not make it a spiral? Or you could have kept it Spy Gal for the name, but just include that little line of text you like to put on certain cards that say this card is always treated as a spiral card, or this card is always treated as X card. That way you have this thing supported by things like your spiral equip spells like Big Red and shit like that, and oh, I'm just so upset. I'm so upset that the only way that you can access this card is literally through hard drawing it, or summoning it out of deck off something like Summoner Monk. That's another piece of off-theme support. That just makes me so displeased that this is the route that has to be taken with this archetype. Like I said, it's almost like Konami is scared. I don't understand. I mean, you had full power BA, which, I mean, are some of the best cards that were ever printed. Let's be completely fair. Burning Abyss monsters are incredible quality. Even though they were meant to be a restriction, Seems like Konami didn't learn from the Dragon Ruler debacle of if you give a card effect three effects, even if only one of them can be used a turn, as long as it can facilitate a massive amount of summons and effects, it's still going to be good. And then you had the Cosmo archetype where literally every single card worked together because they were all Cosmos. Every single one. I don't understand what's going on with their Spiral archetype. I think they're just terrified. I think that they've had way too much success with TCG exclusive archetypes and they feel like they have to tone it down, which sucks. Because that means that it's really hard for you to actually make the deck function in the way that it's meant to be functioning. Because I mean, you can't search this card with cards that search spirals, you can't summon it off cards that allow you to special spirals, 
So you can't advance your engine in the way that the deck naturally would like to. You have to literally hard draw this card and then you have to summon it. And then that supports your super agent. Now, all, f all four well and told, this card does make super agent really, really good because like I said, it turns it sort of into like a Magic Spectre Unicorn Kieran because it can basically pendulum summon itself. Let's be real here, Spiral Super Agent's effect allows it to put itself on the board rather efficiently and rather effectively. Especially paired with this, since you get to look at the top card of your opponent's deck and then summon your Super Agents. I mean, seems like a quick bit of synergy that's actually really, really good, but that's something that the deck needs if Konami wants a TCG exclusive archetype to continue to be relevant. It wouldn't be too overpowered or anything like this. None of the spiral effects are like really that insane. Most of the cards that make the deck insane are off theme support cards like things like machine duplication for like sacky ass shit. But overall, this ultimately would have probably been fine if it was just named spiral or treated as a spiral card. And it makes me very, very upset that it is not. But it is still a very good card. It allows you to guarantee your super agent effect going off. And then it allows your super agent to be a form of removal. This card turns your super agent into a form of multiple forms of removal, in fact, because when you summon the super agent again, it will, in theory, be another form of removal, taking another card with it. So, I mean, like, ah, mm -mm -mm. there was so much potential here. All of these cards in the spiral archetype and the spiral theme are incredible quality, and I thought that it was a little bit weird that they were doing spiral gear, spiral drone, and all that sort of stuff, and making all these different names that actually are like specific that you have to search spiral gear with certain cards, you have to search spiral drones with certain cards. Like I thought that was very strange, but I thought that was going to be the extent of it. But now we literally have things like Charming Resort Staff, and we have Spy Gal Misty, and like these cards could have been very good for the theme, but unfortunately they are not directly supported by the stuff. They directly support the theme, but they are not supported in themselves. So, <sighs> man, I'm so upset because this card, I read its effect and I was like, this card is insane. This card's great. This is the card that's going to help make spirals an actual deck. And then I read the name again. And then I was disappointed. But anyway, as always, I want to know what you guys' thoughts are on this card in the comments down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it would have been too broken if it had been a spiral name? Do you think that it's perfectly fine? What different ways do you think you're going to be using to abuse this card and get it out onto the board? I mean, honestly, the only thing I can think of is you hard draw it, you summon it off Summoner Monk, you can summon it off Call of the Haunteds. You can't summon it back off of Big Red. And that makes me mad. <laughs> that makes me fucking furious. You don't understand. But, other than that, let me know what your thoughts are, as I've already said. But other than that, like, comment, subscribe, do all the nonsense you usually do. Check out the links in the description if you want to see my Facebook pages and other stuff that I have linked there. As well as if you want to support me directly, you can always consider backing me on Patreon. Pledging even as little as a dollar a month just helps support me greatly and shows that you continually believe in my ability to improve and continue making content. And it would definitely be something that you would earn my eternal gratitude for. As well as there's giveaways that are directly linked to that. So if you want to get in on those, definitely go check out that page. There's monthly giveaways that I'm doing, multiple of, as long as that page exists. So if you want to get on that, definitely, definitely go check that out. But other than that, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual. And I will see you in the next video, guys. I, I need a fucking nap.